All right, so can you solve this SAT math problem? As always, try the problem on your own and let's get right into it. So it says for the linear function f, the table shows three values of x and their corresponding values of f of x. Function f is defined by f of x equals ax plus b, where a and b are constants. What is the value of a minus b? All right, so they give us, uh, it says they give us three values of x. Um, and so what we can do is actually make the function, right? Let's apply it out. So we have f of x. And so now we have to find out what the slope is. That's what the a represents because it's right in front of the x. All right, so to find that, we just want to look at the difference in between. So it's rise over run. So from negative 64 to 0, that's the increase of 64. And from 0 to 64, that's an increase of positive 64 as well. And we can see for that each positive increase of 64, so that's a change in y. Our change in x is just plus 1. Right? So we can determine that our slope is 64x. All right, so now we want to determine b. So b is the y-intercept. And so the y-intercept is the value you get when x is 0. Now, it's not on here, but we can predict what it is. So we know that the difference between 1 and 0 is a x value of 1, right? So plus 1 here. And so we can just work backwards. So instead of adding 64, we can just subtract 64. And so here, minus 64, we'll get a value of negative 128. And so our x-intercept would be 128. So you could write this as plus negative 128, but it's the same thing. So it says, what is the value of a minus b? So our a value is 64, all right? And it's subtracting the b value. The b value is negative 128, all right? So if you subtract a negative number, we're essentially adding it. And so 64 plus 128 is just 192, so that's our final answer.